We'll talk to uh, Sam in just a moment. But first, some breaking news. Sky News understands that Hamza Youssef, the First Minister, uh, of course, in Scotland, is considering uh, resigning. Uh, let's bring in uh, Sam Coates, who's here with me. Sam, give us the context of this. Is this uh, a decision he's made on his own? I think very much he'll probably be feeling he's forced into contemplating this outcome. I mean, of course, he hasn't resigned, but he has clearly put it on the table that this is an outcome. Look, people in Holyrood yesterday were saying he was a dead man walking because even though there are some SNP voices who are defending him, there is a lot of anger about how he's handled the last week or so in Scottish politics, ripping up that coalition with the Greens after ripping up the climate change agreement as part of a wider coalition deal that he'd done with them, known as the Butte House deal. Um, and I think that gradually his options have narrowed it looks as if we're about to go into an even greater period of turmoil uh, in Scottish politics. If he does go, can somebody else who succeeds him command a majority of the Scottish Parliament? If not, do we tumble into general, uh, uh, into a Scottish parliamentary election? And what would be the outcome of that? Possibly a messy minority government. I think there's quite a long way to go on this. And on the question that you just mentioned, I mean, is there a unity candidate available? I mean, given the way that uh, the parties have come out in recent days, it, 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 it's hard to be sure that, that there is. Um, one possibly pivotal figure had been Ash Regan, who is part of Alex Salmon's ALBA party, but because she herself is a defector from the SNP and Alex Salmon has played the role with the SNP in the past that he has, that's an incredibly toxic choice which might not mean you could carry the rest of the SNP. The Greens might be an alternative, but they're the people who, less than a week ago, were kicked out of the Scottish Government. Options are quite narrow. Um, and just to expand for us a bit more, if this were to lead to elections, uh, it's Scottish parliamentary elections, or obviously not uh, parliamentary elections in Westminster. What's the balance of power as things stand in the Scottish Parliament and, and what increase would the SNP need? They're on the margin of a majority uh, as things stand. That's right. At the moment, there is a nationalist majority in the Scottish Parliament, but the SNP had to team up with the Greens to have a majority in order to get things done, in order to not have endless confidence votes and get their budgets through. And that climate change agreement had been the sort of glue that had kept that coalition together. Now, there hasn't been consistent Scottish polling for, for a few months, so we couldn't be clear exactly what would happen if uh, there is a Scottish parliamentary election. But the likelihood is that the SNP might come out on top top with the largest number of seats, but then there would be a unionist majority. All those unionist parties would, n would club together probably to put in Anas Sawa, the Labour leader, uh, but he would have a messy minority government trying to get policies through vote by vote. It it it's not clear this, this outcome is particularly good for anyone. Uh, Sam, great stuff. Thanks so much. Sam will be back uh, throughout the morning to discuss uh, the contents of his package, of course, uh, that we were watching there in the local elections coming on Thursday.